for me, art is something that um, I have always loved, partly because of my parents. And we lived near New York City, and my mother majored in art history, and we always went to galleries and museums. And, um, and I was fascinated with people's ability to create a feeling or um, capture a moment in time that was really beautiful or, or very moving. It's great. I wake up in the morning and I see my easel right away and, and there's my painting waiting to go. So that's great. I work in pastels, which I really love because they have so many wonderful colors and they have this buttery quality to them that, and I'm very tactile. So I like working directly on the surface. Um, I missed working with a paintbrush, but this is very different and you can um, let the texture of the surface show through or you can blend and make it look very smooth. Um, and you have to have a wide array, array of colors because you don't really mix colors like you do with paint. Um, in this particular case, I'm working on a surface that has gator board as its base, um, which is archival. Everything I use is archival. Um, and then this particular one is painted with an acrylic ground that has pumice in it, and it's got a tone to it. Um, and then I begin with vine charcoal. You can see outlines here just to sketch in things, and it's easy to sort of wipe off if I make mistakes, which every artist does. Um, I, especially now, when there are so many things going on in the world that can just bring you down, I think that art can offer solace to people who, who need it, and it certainly does for me. And I block in areas of color with um, hard pastels like this. Um, the hard pastels don't take up the tooth of the surface as much, and then as you build up, you get to softer and softer pastels, um, to the more buttery ones. And when I'm up there painting, I, I sort of disappear into the surface, and, and um, that's my being at that moment, and which is really a good thing. <laughs> it feels wonderful. And you work from dark to light, which is what I'm working on now with this cabbage and trying to bring out the highlights. I've worked with the darkest areas first. Um, and trying to show form, and I, I find that really exciting. I tend to be pretty much of a realist. Well, I'm really drawn to um, things in nature, being outside, and water, and clouds. You never have the right color. <laughs> it always amazes me with all these colors. But I might work with a little undertone, close up here of darker blue try to change my stroke a little bit I'm also president of the Monadnock Area Artists Association and that has a lot of responsibilities and chairperson of the Fall Foliage Arts Tour which is coming up in October on Columbus Day weekend and that'll be wonderful I'll be sharing Jeannie Simi's studio because mine really isn't large enough for public to come into.